we have done all of the shapes you can see on the screen here. I purposefully put this slide back up because just it's just such a beautiful slide. It's just the way the colors kind of blend together. Um, it's just, oh, it's just amazing. And then there's my face on the bottom as well. It's just that it can only be a good thing. Uh, oh, it's just lovely because now we have we can actually color code all of these as um, as green because they were they we've done them. So we go. What we're going to look at now is problem solving questions and then looking at things like equated shapes. That's going to be in the next video. So, um, what you will find with the questions now that you're going to be required to do is you you will have to have very good and very strong algebra skills and. The questions will be the same, except they're just in reverse. So you'll be given the volume or surface area, and then you have to work backwards. So you have to you'll have to cube root or square root and just rearrange. Um, in this case, we've been given a cylinder height ten. The volume is hundred. What's the radius? So you know that the vo volume of a cylinder is pi r squared. Times height. Now you know the height is ten. The radius we don't know. Pi we don't. Uh, pi is just a number, and we know that this equals a hundred. So then you can just divide by ten pi, square root it, and you get your answer, which is ten over pi uh, square rooted is one point seven eight. So here's two examples that you need to do. So I've given you this time. I've given you the formula for volume of a sphere because you're going to need that for this. Um, have a go with both questions and then unpause the video and then after that we will do some practice questions. Okay, so the answers for one, uh, you have been told that the manufacturer wants to make a new tin with the same volume but a radius of 5.8. So first of all you work out the volume of the cylinder given um, and you know that's represented by pi times 6.5 squared times 11.5. Now the volume of the new cylinder is going to be pi times 5.8 squared times h and then you can just rearrange uh, basically um, by moving everything over to get 14.4 centimeters. Uh, question two, you're told that the earth has a volume given here, what's the radius? So it's just 4 over 3 pi r cubed equals the number that you've been given. Now you just rearrange it. There's many ways you could rearrange it. If you decided to rearrange all in one go, uh, you would have multiplied by three, divided by four, uh, divided by four pi, and then cube rooted everything. So then you get what's on the screen here. You can put that whole thing in the calculator if you're if you're careful with it. Have a go with testing this out on your calculator because it's one of the silly mistakes that students make. So copy this um, into your calculator and make sure you get this answer um, and if you didn't already get it. So um, the I want you to do exercise five now. I want you to understand that algebra skills are absolutely crucial to this, uh, this video uh, and this subtopic and the next subtopic. If you are making mistakes with any algebraic parts of the questions uh, or if you're realizing they're just really silly mistakes and you're getting the work, but you're still making them, you need to email me so that I can arrange an intervention because you will not get a grade seven or above if you're making mistakes, uh, silly mistakes, or if you're not getting this, uh, this topic. So I'll see you after you've done exercise five and marked it. I'll see you in the next video.